GoPro settings are for my gig user and Shust. That's spelled S C H U S T F. Check out these two gentlemen on their channel about GoPro Hero 10 and why there is jittery. Well, on my videos here, you're gonna find that I'm looking right at it right now, and the exposure is just awful on the camera. Could it be because of the uh, nice blue sky I'm having? I don't see that at all on my front screen. And I'm gonna go home and I'm going to show you that front screen. They said they wanted to see movement with the camera and its settings. Let me tell you the settings in one second. Let's show you why we got that uh, overexposure look. Standard 4K24 linear plus horizon level boost. Schedule capture off. No limits for the duration. Hindsight off. Timer off. Zoom is not available. It's grayed out 1.0x digital zoom. ProTune was set to high. Shutter was set to 148th of a second. EV becomes not available. White balance is auto. ISO was 100. Maximum 1600. Medium color natural. Raw audio. Medium was sharpness. Wind was in the on position. Like so. And no camera mics and no shortcuts chosen and we could restore all our settings and when we turn this on to the front of the camera and you can definitely see how things is basically overexposed and when I put it to the front like so I am overexposed when I just basically do things and man not a good thing. 4K 24, linear plus horizon level, hyper smooth on boost. That's the first line. Schedule this off. The EV value is not available. The shutter speed should be 148th of a second. And a white balance is on automatic. And bit rate is on high. ISO minimum 100, ISO maximum 1600, sharpness on medium. The GoPro natural color and the wind is on, on, not auto, on. So it is a windy day and it is a overcast, cloudy, sunny, blue sky day. If I've forgotten anything on the settings, Shortcuts are basically the norm. All of us that own a GoPro are either using firmware 1.10, firmware 1.16, me, I'm using firmware 19.44, 1.19.44 to be exact. So as I move, and what we're trying to show all, there is a jitter. And the jitter is probably because of hypersmooth. Hypersmooth in a low level shot will cause jitteriness. GoPro has said they are taking care of slow movement videos. So they improved upon it. And yeah. Uh, jitteriness could be because of the trees, the foreground, the background. You may never know. Maybe because of the shutter speed, etc., etc. We are the consumer. We are not GoPro. And we find these issues out trying to explain it to all. And some do and some don't care. Now, in this video, I basically set everything back on the profile standard 
and the Pro 2s. Everything is defaulted back to the norm. And that should be 4K, 30 frames, everything defaulted. The norm. 